Hello and welcome to Tutorials. I'm Tan and today we shall be making a very cool button using CSS sprites. Now what are CSS sprites? Well they enable you to make uh, icons, uh, buttons, whatever, all out of a single image. So you can have like 10 different buttons from one image. So you're probably confused. Well, let's have a look. If we go to Photoshop here. This is our one image. We'll save this out as a PNG file. And as you can see, we've got our normal state, hover, and then the hit state for our link. And this can be for icons. So say you had one icon here, one icon here, and one icon here. You can move the image down, the image background, sorry, down to show that certain icon. Still confused? Yeah, that doesn't surprise me. But, hold on. Let's go into Dreamweaver and I can show you what I mean. So this is some old coding. I'm just going to go to code view for the time being. And this is what we've got so far. Very simple. We've got an uh, anchor tag with a uh, text of sexy button inside it. So we get that. And some very basic styling up here. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to take you through the styling of our button. So first let's select the anchor tag and set the display mode to block. This enables us to modify the anchor tag in any way we want and it to show up properly in our web browser. Next we're going to change the height to 50 pixels which if you remember was the height of one button element and the width to 150 pixels which is the overall width of our button. Next I'm going to change the background and give it a URL of button.png which is our button image there and I'm going to set the alignment to bottom that way we get the lowest bottom one normally you'd start from top to bottom but I've gone from bottom to top because I'm awesome like that okay so we got a button shown there good but oops if you look we've got the text still there oh <gasps> So just in here, so we don't get confused, I'm going to go text indent minus 999. Um, and that just pushes the text right out of the way so we can't see it. If I was to do just minus 9 pixels, you'll see it sort of drags off the edge there. So let's just change that. So it's totally hidden. Awesome. Next I'm going to go to background. Da, 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 da. background position which is very important as you can see our first uh, number will be naught and our second one will be naught for the time being and that of course moves it to naught naught which is up here uh, there right there see naught naught but we don't want that so let's first explain what these uh, numbers are this one is your left and right if I was to put in five pixels you would see that the, the image is pushed right 5 pixels so to get it left we just put a minus in front and it's pushed left 5 pixels simple now what we want to do with our background is make sure that it is pushed 100 pixels down now let's try minus there we go Yeah. So we need it to be pushed minus 100 pixels, which is down instead of up, which is what I was doing. Oh, I'm so sorry. So it's going to be going 50 pixels to that guideline there, and then there's 100 pixels. So it's going from this corner now, down there. Okay? Looking good. And we'll just close off that there. Next, we're going to add the hover event. So we're going to change the background position to naught for left right and to minus 50. Not 50 yeah just like that and now as you can see if I go into live view oh no that's wrong you can see when we hover over it it changes to having hover but if I click nothing happens so let's go back now we need to create the click mode which is when the button is active and the background position will be changed to naught naught which will get it right back to 
there. Cool. And that is how you make a very simple CSS sprite button. Hope you enjoyed it. I've been Tan. This has been Tutorials. And see you later.